Okay, Dana. Hi. Let's introduce you. You've been on my YouTube channel before. Yes. And I'm happy to have you again. We are at a lunch break on set, so excuses, but we have to use the time to do both at the same time. We're going to eat while we talk. <laughs> <laughs> So good to see you back on set. Yes, it's good to see you again too. Uh, I remember. Uh, let me let me put some light here on you, just in case. It's a, a difficult lighting environment with yeah. the sun coming in, <laughs> yeah. and um, so I remember the first time uh, we shot was mm -hmm. actually in Burbank, nice outdoor. Yeah. Now we are again. We are in Chatsworth, yeah. the, the capital of porn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you was, I think, pretty new in the business when we shot. I mean, you had some experience, but it's like two years ago. I think ago. I was like <clears throat> almost two years in. Yeah. 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 It's crazy because with like COVID, it's like lost so much time that like I forget how long I've been in now. Like I'm, yeah. I'm in almost it'll be like three years in may and i'm just like wow <laughs> how did covid I, i mean no if it's three years in may i think that's two years ago so you were pretty new when we shot the first time yeah 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 um how did covid affect your work um i mean it was completely shut down for like a solid three months mm -hmm. that we didn't shoot in like in, you know on set um But luckily, you know, with OnlyFans and, you know, that kind of stuff, I was still making, like, really decent money. I actually made the most money on there mm -hmm. than I had ever had during quarantine because yeah. there was, like, so many people at home. Um, but, yeah, I mean, not being able to go to set for... It was, like, a solid three months was, like, fucking crazy. I mean, you just didn't know when it was going to end, but it was still getting, like, the at-home orders, so yeah. it was, like, filming a lot at home. Yeah, I mean, I just started my social media only fans and stuff when when it happened. So I wasn't ready. I didn't do much. And the worst for me, they closed the sets and they closed the golf courses. Yeah. So I had actually nothing to do. Yeah. Because when I'm not shooting, I'm playing yeah. golf. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was that was the worst time, and it was so stupid. It goes, come on, on a golf course, you're in the outside. You don't... Yeah, it was the same thing. Like they, you couldn't go to the beach, and it was like everyone is already distanced at the beach. Like yeah. nobody is is sitting right next to each other. Like it's already a thing. But yeah, I mean, uh, I I saw pictures of uh, Rio de Janeiro, yeah. and the beaches are full, and people ask, how can you do that yeah. during COVID? But I don't see why not. There's always wind. Yeah. The UV light kills mm -hmm. the, the the virus. Mm -hmm. I think it's the safest place to be. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, in Rio, I kind of understand because there's so many people that mm. I kind of get it. But, I mean, here in California, at least, it's like, you know, you don't have that, like, where everyone is at the beach. It's usually a little more spaced out. But, um... Yeah, I mean, it was not... so silly. They were, like, fining people, like, $1,000 for even going surfing. Like, yeah. crazy. And at one point, you they were letting people go to the beach again. Because I remember because I went to San Diego um, to do, like, a little beach trip. to Because mm -hmm. I have the nude beach there. And yeah. it was so bizarre because you could go to the beach, but you weren't allowed to sit. Mm -hmm. So you had to be moving at all times. So, like, there would be, you know, like security or you know police officers and if they would see you could have your stuff set up but you have to just keep walking so like we would you know be like both of us like completely naked and the officers are coming up to the rest and they're like you can't sit here and we're like okay and yeah. we just have to like keep walking up and down and like go swimming but it was so silly i can imagine that's a popular job to be a security officer at the nude beach yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look at nice people it was naked. bizarre because it was like You, it was like three different beaches like they had the normal beach and then like the dog beach i think and then the nude beach but you have to like go down this cliff and the first beach that you step onto is the nude beach which mm. is so weird i'm like why wouldn't you put the nude beach behind like you know like if the beach would go like that or so. do it like in miami when it's in the middle of the city yeah 
<laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, I'm glad now it's things are relatively normal, but... I just read a headline before on, on, on a German web, uh, website, actually, that uh, the government thinks they're gonna finish the vaccination program yeah. uh, until end of May. So all every adult in America yeah. can be vaccinated if they want, not yeah. everybody wants to. Yeah. But that would make life easier. Yeah, I mean, definitely. I mean, I've heard too with um, certain like large events, like music festivals, like mm -hmm. Coachella is supposed to be the first um, festival to be like major one to be uh, starting again and what they're gonna do is you have to be vaccinated to attend so i think that will get a large um amount of like especially young people vaccinated because of yeah. course you want to like go out and do things so yeah. i mean i think personally i'm very pro vaccine mm -hmm. um so you know i Me think too. that's the only way this is actually going to go away is if we you know majority if at least over 55 percent get vaccinated i mean and if if the majority of u.s people uh, citizens or people living here residents will be vaccinated but then the next challenge is to vaccinate the rest of the world the seven mm -hmm. or eight billion people because yeah. otherwise it's going to be carried in yeah. again and again mm -hmm. yeah i mean I know at least with like the UK because my dad lives there. They're trying to roll it out. Um, oh, they're by... pretty advanced. They're already. Yeah. Uh, let's let's mention today is so people can because I'm gonna release that not uh, soon. So today is uh, March second, yeah, 2021. Mm -hmm. So and UK already vaccinated a third of their population. Yeah. Adult population because the, the vaccine older is, population. No, no, still... the, the whole adult population. But the mm -hmm. thing is, it's UK. Yes, that's mm -hmm. what I read. I'm, I'm, my dad lives there, and he still hasn't gotten vaccinated yet. Yeah, so they're, I know but they're two starting third, with two the, third are they're starting with the older population, of course. But I think they are, and then they're like though. going yeah. backwards. Yeah. But um, yeah. Israel is is uh, 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 most uh, uh, ahead. They're almost yeah. through with their adult really? population. Yeah. Wow. And they vaccinate everywhere. They have IKEA uh, yeah. where, and, and bars and places. Yeah, where I they're, saw. I saw yeah. they opened a pop-up bar and they're like uh, doing vaccinations at the bar. I think that's such a genius idea. Take a shot and then you get a yeah. shot. You know? Yeah, yeah. I saw one place in Miami that's going to do that. Mm. Offer like a free place to get vaccinated because mm. yeah. Mm. <laughs> But water. So. Let's talk a little bit about pornography. Mm -hmm. I think what we do here is a really good example how you can live with uh, with COVID. Yeah. We get tested all the time. We yeah. have the PCR testing. Um, everybody on set, all the crew is tested all the time. Yeah. And we keep, I mean, COVID pops up. I know several people who had it. Most of us, except me, is young in this business <laughs> so they are not likely to have have serious uh, Side symptoms yeah. yeah and so we kept shooting after like two three months of of uh, lockdown yeah i mean i think the porn industry was a perfect example for how like when they were trying to figure out how can we at least get you know hollywood shooting again because here in california Hollywood is a huge, a huge, huge business. business here, you know? Um, it's why they made it essential business. It's why we can still keep shooting because if, yeah. as long as Hollywood keeps shooting, then we can yeah. shoot. But, you know, with how we already are, you know, tested every 14 days for STDs and we can, you know, shoot sex, I think that made a great example for them to figure out how can we shoot with COVID. And, you know, with COVID, you have to test so much more often, which is... Really but it's, annoying, it's, but... it's self-regulated. There's yeah. no actual law or so who, who tells us what to do or not yeah. to do. And I, yeah, know from, I know from stories from older, older colleagues, um, even before porn was legal, they were shooting it. And, you know, we would, even if it's, uh, they closed down Hollywood, yeah. I think we would keep shooting. No, I think, I mean, a lot, of, I didn't even know, I know people during, you know, quarantine were 
we're still shooting. Yeah, but I just mean we, if you want to do it by the book and yeah. do it safely. I mean, especially for major companies. It was never the lockdown was never mandatory. It yeah. was always like a. Uh, how you call that when it's not mandatory the opposite it's like suggested yeah it was FSC suggested it and yeah. a lot of people listened to it and then mm. they said fuck you FSC <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> we keep shooting we yeah. shoot again <laughs> so today we are shooting for Pure Taboo for the director Brie Mills and we have a really complicated script yeah so we're here on set for six hours seven hours now yeah And I think we shot almost three minutes. <laughs> oh, I mean, shot we the... shot much more, but it will be like three minutes or five minutes max yeah. in, in the movie. Yeah. So it's a complicated, like, like a real movie. Yeah. That's yeah, definitely a lot more detailed than your average day on set. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, and she knows what she's doing. Yeah. Right? and the crew, everybody, the, the very professional, the yeah. camera people, the light, the, the gaffer, the, the uh, sound, everybody, yeah. really very professional. Yeah, I mean it's an amazing crew. It's nice to be working with people who are like are efficient at their job. Yeah, yeah, because it happens sometimes for us performers that you're on set for long hours for no reason because they don't know what they're doing, and that is a ball breaker. But when you actually know why you're doing it for yeah. a good product, and yeah. then, then it's, it's... Exactly. When you know you're getting a good product at the end, then I'm like, okay, we can take, stay here as long as you need. But yeah, yeah. there's some... Something some you can be proud just, of afterwards. Yeah. yeah. There's some people who just don't know what the fuck they're doing. And I'm like, it takes so long to do one thing. And I'm just like, fuck, like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um... We have a little twisted story. So this time I'm not the villain taking advantage of this pretty young girl. This time I'm, I wouldn't call myself a victim, but I mean, uh. you, yeah, kind of. You, you, uh, she wants to ruin my marriage with yeah. her mother. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, he's my new stepdad of two months. And yeah, I do not like him because my mom, like, Or I'm, you, you may have been seeing my mom while she was still married, but yeah, she married you like right after the divorce, after two months. So I'm already don't like you, um, and uh, yeah, I come to spend the summer with you and my mom, and then my mom is away for a week on business, so it's just you and me here, and uh, I decide to really, really push your buttons and. Um, prove to my mom that you're you're an asshole and she can be she is such a good actress <laughs> and she can play a bitch a, a mean <laughs> bitch so well even though she's the nicest person you can imagine <laughs> okay uh, we had a I, i want to mention uh another scene we had a few months ago oh my god <laughs> uh where you played a nurse in yeah. the nursing home yeah and it was uh uh Uh, what's, uh, I'm so bad with me. J, J, J. Crew, J. Crew, and me. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you had a sex scene in the yeah. nursing home, and we were on walkers, and she's like giving us our mats, and that was yeah. like really funny, like in a in a in a stupid, Very hilarious uh, way. Yeah. yeah, I like doing scenes like that because everything now is like so. I mean, you have stuff like this that's like really serious, which I like, but then there's like. When you're doing like some other scenes that they're like wanting you to be serious, I'm like, come on, like let's just make this funny. Like, yeah, it, it it is ridiculous. So it's nice to do things that yeah. are just like you're just you know being funny on purpose and not trying to, yeah. you know, make a stupid script seem yeah. seem good. But the but, script was the script was funny and yeah. the way we we worked. Uh, in yeah. No, it was when I saw the trailer. I was like, this is so fucking good. <laughs> it was my first boy boy girl scene too. Oh. So when you know Kieran, like the director, brought up like he was like, "This is my idea for your first scene." I was like, "Yes, I fucking love it." Yeah. But um, yeah, it was a good one. Okay, Vanna. Uh, today we're not shooting two interviews. Most of the time we're gonna uh, try to do one before the scene. I mean the sex scene, and then afterwards. But. Uh, it's a, we're already losing light. It's gonna be pitch black, <laughs> and when we're done with the scene, it's gonna be late, and everybody wants to run out of uh, from the set and go yeah. home. So I already say thank you, Aww. and uh, I'm looking forward uh, to have sex with you. Yes, but we have to do a little bit more dialogue. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
So, as usual, I don't see you, but you see me again at uh, YouTube slash Steve Holmes Porn. Bye.